Will Susan, Bulldozer Barnes roll over the competition? Can Brian, Wild Thing Beer, get crazy on the Mega Crag? Or will Terra, Supersonic Sims, stop them in their tracks? Do you have it? I'm Mike O'Malley. Welcome to the Extreme Arena. This is Nickelodeon Guts. Do you have it? It takes a certain kind of person to get the body working to the level of precision that's needed to be risen to the top. Do you have it? It takes a certain kind of something to keep the heart pumping, something everybody needs to achieve to succeed. You'll need a lot. Do you have it? Do, 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 do. do you have it? where sports in space is a reality here on Guts. We are training our athletes for the rigors of competition at zero G. And for some tips for this first event, please give a warm welcome to Evander, the real deal, Holyfield! That's right, former heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, good to have you here. Uh, thanks, Mike. It's good to be here, and uh, you know, this is my kid's, my kid's favorite show. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Now, in this next event, I know you do quite a lot of training yourself to get ready for your fights. What can you tell our players, some smart moves or some tips for this event? Three big ones, my God. Think horizontal, jump out, and stay center. All right, so we'll see if these go to work. Let's go to Mo. Mo for the rules. Mo. Here they are, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the zero-G track. Fastest time wins. That's how it works. On your mark. Get set. So starting off the show, folks, with the race through space, we'll see what Susan can do in this event. She's making good motion right there. Right over the black hole and out of the edge of nothing. She comes swinging around. Let's see if she can regain her balance. She's doing a little flip right there. She's doing some gymnastics here, but she's picking up her pace. She's getting a little help from our stun spotters right there. And back, continuing her way through the way. She's going through the hurdles, but she's gonna go have to go back around. You see right there, her harness is preventing her from going through the hurdle that way. She's gonna have to pick up the pace right here, folks. And there, she crosses the finish line. Let's get the official results from Mo. Susan clocked in at 31.3 seconds. All right, Susan. And she's getting out of that harness right there. I'm up on the bridge, and she's going to be coming down. We're going to be talking to her and find out what happened in that last event. It looks like she lost her balance. You saw Evander talking about staying centered right there. And when she went through the edge of nothing, she had a problem coming back around, sort of did a little flip there. So we'll find out what's going on with Susan as she steps off right there. Susan, that looks like an incredibly difficult event. What happened there after you came around that turn? It's a lot of hard. You have to keep your legs moving or you fall off. All right, so we'll see what our next player can do. Looks like Mo has got our next player, Brian, in the harness and ready. And uh, we'll start this once he is situated and ready. So you saw, saw her talk about what Evander talked about, staying centered and jumping out, and then, of course, thinking horizontally. We will see if Brian can put those smart moves to work and beat her time. Looks like Brian is ready. On your mark, get set. All right, folks. So we'll see what Brian can do as he comes hopping right over. Oh, nice work right there. Just flying through the black hole. Here's the edge of nothing right now as he speeds around. Now he's got to get his body reoriented to running horizontally. You see right now he's trying to stand up a little bit. He's got to remember to keep his weight down by his left shoulder as he comes flying across the finish line. Great time right there. So we'll find out if that is official. We'll go to Mo. Mo. Yes, Brian clocked in at 21.6 seconds. All right, let's take a look at the replay right here. As you see Brian getting out of the harness right now, he definitely beat Susan's time and is now our leader as you see him stepping down off our aerial bridge. We talked about reorienting his body so he could run horizontally. And look at him leaping right over what we call the black hole. Great work. He gave him a lot of speed. And you see Brian stepping down right now. And we are now ready for our next player. Mo. We're just getting them onto the track, Mike. Tara's All right, so, still bound so up Tara there. is getting ready. You see our players talking to Evander. They'll be talking a little bit about strategy right now, and it looks like Tara is ready. On your mark, get set. All right, folks, Tara's nickname is Supersonic. Let's see if he can pick up the pace right here. And he's really pounding his way across this course, flying right over the hurdle and coming out to the edge of nothing. This man, it's a powerhouse. He's dangling out there the edge of nothing, but no problem. He is really running horizontally and staying centered. Having trouble right there, though. Let's see if he can get over this hurdle. Oh, struggling by our second black hole. He's having trouble. Remember, he still has got to go for second place points here as he hustles across at the last second and struggling 
Back there at the end, he had some trouble up by the black hole. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Tara clocked in at 26.2 seconds. So that puts Brian in first place, Tara in second place, and Susan in third place. Susan coming flipping over. This was some serious gymnastic ability right here. She was flipping one end over the next end, doing great. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Brian in red. In second place with 200 points, Tara in purple. In third place with 100 points, Susan in blue. All right, and right now, that is just our first event. we got a bunch more events coming up. Let's go to Mo for the event lineup. Mo! Well, we've just seen our Space Race Zero G, and coming up next is our ferocious football event, Fumble. We'll kick off our second half with the all-terrain track event, Tornado Run, and then try to dodge it in our aerial dodgeball event. And the Mega Crag is last. All right, and the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. Remember, don't try any of these events at home, but right now, it is time for Susan to spill her Guts! Hi, my name is Susan Barnes and I've been playing soccer for three years. Currently I'm on four soccer teams and as a freshman I made the varsity soccer team at Dalton High School. Imagine Emma Smith on a sweep right, he said fumble, loose ball, and now it's your chance to go after it, but the other players are going after you too. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! Well Mike, at the sound of my whistle, all three players will have 45 seconds to recover as many fumbles as possible. Players may grab more than one football at once and only the footballs in each player's basket will be counted. The player with the most recoveries wins. All right, Evander, now in your sport, a lot of thinking on your feet, obviously. What are the smart moves in this one? What's going to really count? Mind and muscle counting this one, Mike. All right, so they're going to be chasing after these footballs. Do you have any three tips they should be thinking about most importantly? Well, power, reaction, time, and decision making. All right, so we'll see if our players will take Evander's advice in this one. Let's go to Mo for this kickoff. Mo. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, and with that whistle, they begin their scrambling. Now, you saw Evander talking about decision making. You got a split decision, as you see purple scoring right there. You got a split decision to decide whether or not you're going to throw the ball into your bucket or run it back. The power to scramble and push and pull your way to every loose ball is extremely important because as each player pushes in a different direction, they will pull you in the opposite direction. So there you see right here, red, and there's purple, and there's blue on the ground, scrambling. There's red with three balls. Three for Brian as he dumps. There's a fourth one as he goes for. And there, in blue, there's purple. That's Tara going after two more. Time running out. It looks like Brian is definitely in the lead. He's got time. He's got two more in his hands and dug some through. So Brian was scrambling back. I'll tell you about reaction time. Another thing that Evander talked about right there, he reacted to the bounce immediately and put it right in the bucket. Let's go to Mo and get the results. Mo. In first place was Brian with 10 recoveries. In second place, Tara with seven. In third place, Susan with six. Let's take a look at the replay right here. Brian took first place in our first event, Zero G, and he's back right here getting another one. First place points with 10 footballs. Excellent work right here. Now, Brian, in that event, you were pushing your way to every one of those balls. What was the hardest part of that event? Pulling the other players around. Pulling the other players around, but you did a great job. He's a little bit tired. Let's go to Mo and check out where he and our other players stand on the leaderboard now. Mo. Well, right now, Brian is in the lead with 600 points. In second place, Tara with 400 points. In third place, Susan with 200 Come points. Come on, man. Every week, come on. We'll be back with Tornado Run. You come back. Guts. All right, welcome back to Guts. It's the Mike and Mo halftime show. I'm Mike, she's Mo, and over here we got the former heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Thanks for being here again. Well, thank you. And Evander, why the real deal? Well, because when I go out, I go out and give my best, and that is the real deal. And certainly a good example good to show answer. our players. And, and Evander, you've been uh, a champion at every level, Olympic, light heavyweight, heavyweight. What would guts equal to you? Well, guts uh, mean confidence to me. I was confident to start the game of box, and I was confident to go out there and give my best performance. And certainly a good thing for our players to also think about going into our next event, which, Mo, you got to get back down yep. the field See and get later. ready for. And before we get to our next event and your smart moves, it's time for Brian Evander to... Spill your guts. Hi, my name is Brian Beer. I'm 13 years old, and I played for the Bell Middle School basketball team. 
I just finished with the LaBelle All-Stars, which we did very well in, and I'm now starting football season. Okay, folks, well, now it's on to our track for our next event, Tornado Run, and it is an all-terrain race through the fury of Mother Nature. We brought it right here to our extreme arena, and our player is going to be crossing rivers. They're going to be rocking through earthquakes. They're going to be swinging through jungle vines and also fighting their way through a swamp fog, trying to bog our players down. And as we talked about, Evander, you've given our players great advice so far. What would be the smart moves for this event? Number one, a quick start. Okay. Two, speed. And number three is determination. All right, so we'll see if they keep that in mind in this next event. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will race around the track, negotiating each obstacle. First player over the finish line wins. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, so our players on the left. Look right there, Tara slipped at the beginning. It's certainly important to get their point power through. And it looks like our leader going into this event is our man Brian, he's flying through. Now right here, they gotta go over the second part of our race right here. The jungle vines, they gotta fight their way through and this man is all out speed, taking it home first place. Who's gonna be in second? Second place points, extremely important. As you see, Brian came across in first place. He's putting up the number one, it looks like another 300 points for him. Fighting his way through next will be Terra. And then coming through in third, will be Susan. So the story right here, if that time is official, unbelievable for Brian smoking his way to another first place finish. Let's go to Mo for the official results. Mo. You called it right, Mike. In first place was Brian in red, in second place, Tara in purple, and third place, Susan in blue. All right, folks, you've been talked about quick start and this man certainly got one. Brian flying through and determined to get through right there. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Well, Brian is still in the lead with 900 points. In second place, Tara with 600 points. In third place, Susan with 300 points. Okay, folks, and right now it is time for Tara to spill his guts. Hi, my name is Tara Sims. I like all sports except soccer. My favorite sports is football. When I grew up, I either want to be a policeman or a bodyguard. screaming all around your head. What are you going to do? Dodge it. That's right, folks. It is a new aerial elastic sports event, dodgeball style. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, our players will have 60 seconds to try and dodge the balls the other two players are throwing at them. The player who scores the most hits on the opposing players wins. Mike. All right, Evander, you have had uh, quite a lot of success dodging punches. Any advice for our players? Smart moves for this event? Well, yeah. Body control, toughness, and a deadly aim. All right, body control, toughness, and a deadly aim. That's the advice from Revander. It's worked all day. Let's go to Mo for the kickoff of this event. Mo. On your mark, get set. All right. And there, with the sound of that whistle begins the game. Now, the story all day long has been Brian as he got nailed right there by Susan. He is a perfect game right now as he goes up high and it hits Laura just there again. I'm sorry, Susan. And you see, that's Tara. Knocking, they're ganging up on this guy right now. Tara trying to get, he's gonna have to get his bounce back down. You saw that Evander talked about body control. Once you catch the ball, then you have to nail the other players. And right there, Tara is gonna have to really get his motion back and jump on that bridge so he can twist his body towards where the balls are falling out of the top of the extreme arena. After you catch the ball, then of course you gotta dodge it, folks. And you see Brian is really getting some great height on this event. There's Tara with another one. He nails Susan right there. Tara reaching for another, and Susan is just hanging in the air right there. Brian also having trouble. He goes high. Oh, these folks are all over the place in this event. These guys were all over the place. So body control, toughness, and deadly aim. You saw that our players were having trouble hanging from the elastic cords on that one as you see them getting lowered. We will go to Mo and get the official results, and we will see if Brian has held on to his perfect game going into the crack. Mo. Well, right now, Brian in red and Tara in purple made a first place tie with three hits each. And in third place, is Susan in blue with one hit. All right, folks, let's take a look at the replay right here. We talked about Tara smashing right into Brian right there. They shared first place points in this event. And you take a look at Brian all day long getting first place points with a great reach and then the throw and the hit. 
They both got three hits right here. And Tara, what's going to happen in this next event, the Crag? What are you looking forward to? Winning. All right. Now, Brian, you got a perfect game on the line. Any, uh, anything you want to talk about before we get to that? There ain't nobody ruining my perfect score. All right, and how about you, Susan? I'm taking it from him. All right, let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Well, Brian in red is in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place, Tara in purple with 900 points. In third place, Susan in blue with 400 points. All right, folks. Well, our players are ready for our next event, the Mega Crag event. Or anything you want to say before we get into it? Let's get ready to rumble. All right, let's get ready to rumble. Our players go to the crack. That's right. They're gonna bust it out. I think we got a perfect game on the line. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. After four events, Brian in red is in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place is Tara in purple with 900 points. In third place is Susan in blue with 400 points. So there it is, folks. That's a look at where they stand. Now let's take a look at some highlights of how they got here. You take a look at Tara flying around the edge of nothing and trying to think horizontal as he made his way through our zero-G track. Tearing and driving his way. And then, after the coming up to the black hole, here's Brian. Look at this guy leaping around that hurdle and continuing to fly across the finish line. That was just his first 300-point finish. We go into fumble right here. Nice work right there by Susan, putting both in and then continuing to scramble even though she's on the ground. Good aim, good decision making capabilities right there. And scrambling on the ground and fumble also was Brian. He had three in his hands at this point and took home 300 points in that event too. It was all Brian also in our tornado run event. He created a little hurricane of his own as he came flying across our finish line in first place points and it was all him in that event. And then we go right here into our dodge it event. Tara looking for somebody to hit. Concentrating and deadly aim right there. Excellent work. And then watch this scoop right here by Brian going up with one hand, grabbing a hold of it and smacking the other players. They shared first place points in that event. The competition has been hot. Now it's about to get even hotter. In fact, the competition here on Guts has gotten so hot, our crag has taken on a new molten color. Now it's mega. Mega large, mega sharp, and mega challenging. From its very core, the shard zone has erupted into a tangled mass of petrified lava. And now our players, en route to the top of that peak, they will encounter Stone Ledge, a horizontal rock climb preventing them from locking in on their final actuator. Also, while our players climb, they will trigger obstacles like snowstorms, floods, nuclear flying crystals, and of course, awaiting them, the sound and fury of a dormant volcano ready to blow. I hope our players are ready. Let's go to Mo for the rules, Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now during their climb, our players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the crag, will receive first place points, Mike. So our players await their climb to the top of that mountain. 725 points for our first place player awaits them. That's right, folks. Let me remind you the points. They have skyrocketed in this event. Third place being worth 375 points. Second place, 550 in first place. As I said, 725 points. Will it be Wild Thing Brian in red? Or will it be our blue player, Susan? Bulldozer, or will it be purple Terra Supersonic Sims? Our players await their climb. I think we're ready. Let's kick it off, Mo. Players, on your mark, get set. And with that whistle, that means Boulder Canyon as they try to make their way. And it looks like Brian out to a fast start right there. He's been fast all day. Let's see if he gets a quick start right here as the nuclear flying crystals come raining down on our players. They take a look at Terra, and there's Brian hustling his way. He's at the shard zone right now as he goes for his next actuator. That's the bulldozer in blue, but it looks close right here. Brian in the lead. There's Terra, supersonic sims, but Brian is at stone ledge as Susan goes through the shard zone. It looks like Brian at the top, locking in first. We're going for the second place finish right here on the Mega Crag. Here's Terra in purple. 
Tara in purple at the top. Susan's also close to the top. But Tara locks in second. And Susan locks in third. Let's go to Mo for the official results. Mo! In first place on the Mega Crag, Brian in red. In second place, Tara in purple. In third place, Susan in blue. We talk about speed all day long, folks, and the quick start by Brian is he just goes flying over Boulder Canyon, hitting his first actuator. A little hesitation there, but he continued to come flying up the crag, hitting the next actuator, and climbing and climbing and climbing, fighting his way through the smoke and snow. As you saw, the nuclear flying crystals raining down on our players right here. Snowstorms going off all over the place, and Brian way out in the lead right here in the front. Neck and neck at that point with Tara and Susan in blue as they continued their climb as Brian went into the shard zone and he came out right on top of Stone Ledge. What's it gonna stop him? Look at this man's strength right up with his own arms. A little slight hesitation but locking in with first place points. Excellent work for Brian. I believe, folks, that that is a perfect game and perfect game means guts all-stars. He has made history today. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings. Mo! Here they are, Mike. In third place today, Susan in blue, 775 points. In second place, Tara in purple, 1,450 points. Our winner today, Brian and Red, with a perfect score of 1,925 points. Mike. And so the bronze medal will go to Susan in blue. Evander will give Susan our bronze medal. The great competitor here today, Susan, with the bronze. The silver will go to our purple player, Tara. Tara earning the silver by being a great competitor here on Guts. And the gold medal will go to Brian in red. The gold medal to Brian. I'm going to get in, get a little word with Brian. Now, Brian, my man, you won that event. Perfect game was on the line there. What were you thinking going into it? Just go all the way, all the way, no stop. How does it feel to be a Guts All-Star standing on the top with the gold medal? Feels great. All right, folks. Well, you know what that means. He gets the goal. That means we give him a glowing piece of our awesome rock. And that means, Evander, you're going to give our Brian a glowing piece of our awesome rock. He deserves it, folks. He holds it high. He's an unbelievable competitor here today. As you see, the Extreme Arena going nuts for our players. Once again, a terrific competition here on Guts. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. For everyone here at Guts, I'm Mike O'Malley. See you next time. Do you have it?